Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a Python program to control the Raspberry Pi camera that you recently installed. So you've already learned in class that we can use the raspy still command in the command line to start taking pictures, and that's great. However, you might actually want to use something a little more stable, like a Python program, to do something a little more nuanced, like a time lapse that's going to um, start or stop at a certain time or take so many pictures. And um, we can do that through a simple Python program. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out to the web and we're going to get a Python program. We're going to copy it and then paste it into a, a file that we create on the Raspberry Pi through PuTTY and then we will execute that file so that we start getting pictures from the Raspberry Pi and you'll see all of those things happen. Alright, let's go. So right now I'm logged into my Raspberry Pi with PuTTY and I've found on the raspberrypi.org website a wonderful Python program that can be used for um, doing a time lapse. So what I want to do is copy that and then make a little modification to it so that I can do what I want to do. So I'll bring my window forward here and I'm already logged in so let's list where I'm at and I'm at, I'm at the home directory and I can see I've got a camera folder already set up so I'll CD into that and list the contents of that. There's nothing in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a new file there that's going to contain my Python program. And to do that, I'm going to need a text editor. So uh, the command I use for this is sudo, super user do, nano, which is the name of the text editor, it's just the name of a program. And then I have to give the name of the file that I want nano to work on. So I'm going to call it camera.py. .py is the file extension for Python. Now when I do this, notice that all of a sudden this looks different. I've got gnu nano up here at the top and these different commands down here at the bottom. So this is a text editor. It's different from a window directly into my Raspberry Pi. If I right click, it'll take what I just copied and put it in there. So that's sort of the paste function in, in this uh, putty window. Now, uh, the number of days that I'm doing this, it's set here at five. I want to do this for one day. Number of frames per hour, if I do one every 10 seconds, that's 360 frames per hour. And the number of hours that I want to do this for, let's call it 8. Okay, reading down, it's going to use the camera to take a picture, and it's going to capture it and put it in HomePy Desktop. I'd rather that be in Camera. And the frame percent 03D um, means that it's going to append this with a three-digit number starting with 001. At 360 frames, I think I'm going to need a four-digit number. I'm going to take more than 999 pictures. Okay, and uh, just going down to the bottom, everything else is more or less taken care of. So I'm going to save this by hitting Control O, and that writes the file to this name, right? And I'm going to exit this by hitting Control X. Now I'm back in my regular putty, and if I list, I can see that now I've got a program called camera.py. So that's how we put a Python program onto the Raspberry Pi remotely. Now it's time to execute our uh, Python program. So still being logged into PuTTY here, I'm going to give this the command of uh, sudo python, that is I'm going to use the Python program to execute this file, camera.py. And a good thing to do when you're doing things remotely on uh, PuTTY is to put an ampersand after that. That means it's going to run in the background. And when I hit enter, we're going to see a job number come up. So 2676, that's the job number that came up for this program. So right now, the Raspberry Pi camera is taking pictures. Every 10 seconds, it's taking another picture. And if we did this right, they should all appear in the camera folder. So if I type ls, I should see, look at that, two new folder, two new things, frame 0000 and frame 0001. And if I do it again, now I've got another one. So I let this run for eight hours. I'm going to have eight times 360 fold, uh, files there. And uh, that'll be my time lapse video. It's very easy to make. We did it in under a minute.